Fourth and final game here from Onega as we get underway between Centralia and Hanover. Starting lineup first for you for the three seated Centralia Panthers. Number two, Quinn Aldefer, a freshman. Number three, Maverick Becker, a senior. Number four, Duke Kimmel, a junior. Number 10, Reese Tanking, a senior. Number 23, Paxton Bowers, a senior. The Panthers set at six and two on the season and are head coached by Nick Evans. They will go Aldefer, Becker, Kimmel, Tanking, and Bowers. As for the Hanover boys, they will go number one, Brant Bike a junior, number four, Braylon Mine, a sophomore, number five, Garrett Martin, a junior, number 14, Tanner Bruno, a sophomore, and number 20, Brigham Bruna, a senior. Hanover, of course, head coach by Corey Jensen. We'll go Bikeman, Mine, Martin, Bruna, and Bruna. Hanover got to this position with a win over Valley Heights last night, 55-49, to while Centralia popped Donovan West, 62-29. Winner will face Axel in the TVL Tournament Championship. Centralia will be the lower seed as they are in the road blacks with a white Centralia white numbers on the chest and back and a white stripe around the shoulders. Meanwhile, Hanover, the home team in their home whites, blue cursive wildcats on the chest with a blue number on their front and back. First possession is going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay or go with Centralia on the first offensive possession here for the Panthers. Hanover will like to press. They like to cause turnovers and use their athleticism to their advantage. A team that is 8-0 and on the season, 62 points per game, darn near 63. Really likes to force the action defensively, too. They only allow a hair over 41. First three of the day is up and no good. That's going to be Reese Tanking. Can't find the mark from the left wing. Hanover pulls down the defensive board, and away we go. Inside, Braylon Mine puts on the spin cycle and puts it up and down for Hanover. First buckets of the game go to the Wildcats, and it's 2-0 here early on. We've had some great games here so far today. Of course, we thank you all for tuning in. If you've been with us for today, the last couple hours, last couple minutes, or even if you've been with us all week, we sure do appreciate you tuning in. Inside, Centralia tries to get their first bucket of the game to go down. The 6-3 Duke Timmel can't get the turnaround shot from the left block to go down, and the Hanover pulls down the defensive board. Centralia boasts more height than this Hanover team does out on the court right now, but an athletic, smart, savvy Hanover Wildcats team that went 17-6 and six last year. A lot of these players back from it, including mine with the ball now off top. He's in a dribble right side, dump pass inside to Martin. Martin has trouble with it, loses it, but it gets it back. Back to mine, right block. Tanner Bruna, left side three. That's going to go down. Tanner Bruna, his first triple of the evening. A big one for the Wildcats as they jump out to a 5 nothing advantage now. Early first quarter action. Jump ball is going to be the call and back over towards Hanover it goes. These two teams met last year as well in the TVL tournament. They met in quarterfinal action. Centralia came in as the three seed, Hanover as the six seed, and Hanover upset Centralia 43 to 40. The Wildcats were led by Chase Bruna Sr. last year with 16 points. On the other end, Maverick Becker back this year. Junior has himself 13 in that loss. Tanner Bruna, second three from same spot. That one's no good. Tanking pulls down the defensive board, and Centralia is off and running. Quickly down the right side, setback three is off from Paxton Bowers. The six-foot senior has a nice-looking shooting stroke, watching him in the warm-up line. Couldn't get that one to fall on the tough step back, but good defense. Now turnover handover, and Garrett Martin got his pocket picked. Quickly, 94 feet up the other way with Maverick Becker. He misses it. Tanking gets back the board. He can't get the second shot. Third opportunity, no good for the Panthers. Defense at the rim has been superb by Hanover here in the first couple minutes. And Bruna just loses it out of bounds. Brigham Bruna, the senior guard for Corey Jensen's team, just loses it in that far corner off his fingertips. Slaps his hand in disgust, but needs to get back into it defensively. Kind of a 1-2-2, 3-2 matchup zone for Hanover this year. They've been very effective with it so far. Inside right block against Martin. Turnaround shot by Duke Dimmel is good for his first bucket of the evening. First bucket for Centralia, too, as well, as it is 5-2. Mine brings it across the timeline for the Wildcats. Mine spin cycle again inside, and a travel is called for Hanover. So now three quick turnovers for Corey Jensen and his boys in this one where they did a superb job of it last night against Lynn, or excuse me, 
last night against Valley Heights. They only committed eight turnovers total in the game. They're already up to three here in this third quarter. Centralia will go four out, one in around the, around the big Duke Timmel inside. Now we're going to flash high post, says Maverick Decker. Right side three from all the third. That one's going to be partially blocked by Braylon Mine. Out of bounds, staying with Centralia. Clint Aldifer not afraid to let that one fly. The freshman right in the face of Mine. Mine ended up getting a piece of that one, but it'll stay with the Panthers. Inbound plays, corner three up, no good from Reese Tanking. Offensive board, though, take it inside. That's going to be Duke again. Up second, third opportunity, and one for Duke Timmel. Of course, the bench giving the old Duke, Duke, Duke. Shout there as Duke Timmel now with all four points by Centralia early on. That personal foul will go against Garrett Martin, the five, the junior down low. Had a nice game, too, against Valley Heights. 16 points as he really caused havoc for those Mustangs down low. First free throw of the day is going to be missed. Martin pulls down the defensive board, nearly throws it away, and now it does. Stolen away, taken up for a layup by Maverick Decker, and that is good. Four turnovers now for Hanover here early on, and Coach Corey Jensen is going to go to his bench early on. Out top, Braylon Mine guarded tight with the left wing. Gets it off to Martin, top of the key, looking for a man. Had a cutter back door, decides to give it back to Mine. Mine trying to work against Timmel. Backing him down right block, up and one for Braylon Mine. Flexes on Duke Timmel a little bit as the big junior picks up his first personal foul, and Mine gets his second bucket of the evening to fall down. 7-6. Our score here, early first quarter as we play it. Centralia, Hanover leading this one with 3.46 left to play. It's been an exciting day of basketball here. Of course, Centralia girls just victorious here moments ago. Earlier on in the game, too, as or on the day, too, as well. Axel victorious on the boys' side, while over on the girls, Clifton and Clyde punched their ticket to the tournament, to the championship. First turnover now by Centralia as Mine can't finish off the old-fashioned three-point play. 8-6, still our score. Actually, Mine does finish that off. Excuse me, had it wrong. Martin with the top of the key. Mine drives baseline, had a layup, decides to give it up. Top of the key, now Martin will set it back up. Right side, Tanner Bruno already with a three to his his name. Gets inside, spin around shot off the glass, and good for Tanner Bruno as he now has five points to go along with the five points from Braylon Mine, and it is 10-6 here early on Hanover. Inside, Duke Timmel tries to get it stolen away now by the Wildcats. Second turnover by Centralia. Left side, Braylon Mines going to step into a three-hand in his face. Air ball holds that free, holds that shooting for him a little bit. As head coach Corey Jensen just said, you know what? You're going to miss some of those every now and then like that. Keep your head in the game and let's go. 10-6, our early first quarter score. Hanover leading this one. Hunter Kikafer into the contest now. The freshman for the Wildcats will be up top of this defense with Bruna. Down low, we're going to go into the post. Off the glass and good for Reese Tanking. Tanking's first bucket here in this first quarter. And Centralia cuts it down to two. An ex- <laughs> An experienced team for Centralia here this year. They start three seniors, a junior and a freshman, and bring three seniors off the bench. Missed shot by Brigham Bruna. First one of the game inside is missed by the senior. Now quickly at the other end defensively, Hanover gets a steal. Hunter Kikafer comes up with that one. It's sloppy play on both ends here in the first quarter. Kikafer right wing will get into the defense. No foul, no travel, no nothing. And a jump ball is finally the call. A lot of contact there. As head coach Nick Evans not too happy with it here near side for Centralia. Corey Jensen the same on the Hanover side. 10-6 early first quarter action. Substitute coming now for Centralia. Tyler Jones, the six-foot sophomore, will come in at next horn. And over 3-2 defense extends well outside the three-point line. San Anna, or Centralia will go four out, one in, around the big man down inside. That's Duke Timmel. Left side into the hands of Paxson Bowers. Powers tries to go left baseline against this defense behind the back, underneath the basket. Somehow snakes his way in and sneaks the shot up 
for Paxton Dowers. Dowers scoring so far here for Centralia as four of five starters have put the ball in the basket here in this first quarter. Braylon Mine, top of the key, gets into the lane. A little Euro step block will be the call, and Braylon Mine will step to the line for two free throws. So Bowers gets the bucket on one end and now goes to or picks up the personal foul on the other side, trying to draw the block or charge from Braylon Mine as he snuck his way into the line. Second personal foul or second team foul now for Centralia in this first half. Mine calmly to the line, sinks the first free throw. In will become come in the before-mentioned Tyler Jones. He will check Duke Timmel. So six foot, check six three. Substitution two now for Hanover as in will come Patrick Cook. The big senior. 1.2 is named the other night versus Valley Heights. So plays an important role off the bench for Corey Jensen and his squad. Missed free throw, but Tanner Bruna pulls down the offensive board. Hunter Keekafer gets inside. It's going to be diving on the floor. Brigham Bruna is going to try and save a possession. And a jump ball. Ball stays with Hanover. Good second effort there by the senior Brigham Bruna. You don't see many players just go diving on the floor anymore. And he did from up the three-point line. Top of the key now, Braylon Mine's going to fire up the three. That one's money. Braylon Mine out here hot to start this game. A triple, two buckets, and two free throws to start this one as he has the hand of the Wildcats up by four with one minute left to play in this first quarter. Top of the key, Becker will set it up now for the Panthers. Gets a screen from Tanking. Tries to roll screen and roll right side now into Bowers. Bowers, a lot of contact, no foul called. Back to him on the offensive rebound. Second try, that should be a foul, and it will be on Braylon Mine for Hanover. Nine points already for Braylon Mine in this first quarter as he has been the entire offense for Hanover starting off. He had a slow game for his measures, 11 points versus Valley Heights last night, but starting off here hot. Bowers at the line. This is his first free throw of the afternoon, as now Centralia is 0 for 2 from the stripe here early on. Second free throw, calmly knocks that one down, does the senior guard. As we roll under 45 seconds left to play here, first quarter in a fast-moving contest. Last one of the day here. From Onega, winner will face the Axel Eagles in the TVL Tournament Championship tomorrow at 7.30. Brigham Bruna sees the stay inside. Nice pass for Garrett Martin. Misses that one, though, from point-blank range as Martin doesn't have the touch he has tonight like he did against Valley Heights. Inside wildly goes Tyler Jones. Kicks it out now for tanking. Top of the key. Becker will reset. Maverick Becker inside. Kicks it out. Three ball from Reese Tanking. That one's down. Three ball for Reese Tanking. Five points down for the senior. Braylon Mine brings it across the timeline with eight seconds. Mine gets inside. Spin cycle again. Foul. And two free throws upcoming for Braylon Mine. He has been living at will inside this Centralia defense. So go hard to his left. Quick spin back to the right. And foul shots coming now for the sophomore. Personal foul will go on Tyler Jones. Picks up his first personal. First free throw now for mine is good. Second free throw coming out with 3.8 seconds to go in a quick moving first quarter. Free throw for mine. That one's good too as well. Mine four for five from the stripe in this quarter. Quickly the other way. Becker will get it off. No chance. And so Hanover takes a two-point lead into second quarter action. 16 to 14, your score. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Cottage Hill Ag Supply makes precision planting work for you. Put their experience and exceptional customer service to work when planning for the next planting season. Check their test plot results with quality seed lines, including AgriGold and NC+. Set up assistance with your planner and adjustments as needed help you be more efficient. As a fellow farmer, Darren Jacobson can share his experience if you're new to precision planting. Count on top quality products with expert service and a commitment to go above and beyond for their customers. Go online to cottagehillagsupply.com. State Auto. 
A friend you can depend on. Do you know the total value of your personal possessions? On a quick guess, you probably would underestimate considerably. Your independent state auto insurance agent can help you estimate the value of the items you own so you can maintain coverage in case they're lost, stolen, or destroyed. Making sure you're adequately covered is one of his biggest responsibilities. Talk to your independent state auto agent, Justin Dragaston, in Washington at 325-2263 or in Concordia at 243-3436. Sixteen fourteen at the end of one quarter. Twelve fourteen. Hanover has led from the beginning get go. They are led by Braven Mine already with eleven points, five points for Tanner Bruna. As for Centralia, they had three players with four points. That'll be Drew Chip or Duke Timmel resanking and Paxton Bowers all with four, while Maverick Becker had two two as well. Maverick Decker had himself two. Duke Timmel there with two. Two and a three. A two and a one. Got to get my math right here. We'll get everyone squared away. So actually five points now for Reese Tankings. Four points for Duke Timmel. Three for Paxton Bowers. As I tried to add two and one and came up with four. Inside Bowers drives a good defense by Garrett Martin. And Tanner Bruna comes away with the board. Quickly up now into the hands of Brandon Bikeman. Bikeman in there with Hunter TK for Garrett Martin, Braylon Mine, and Tanner Bruna. The five out there for the Wildcats. As for Centralia, they're going to go Reese Tanking, Duke Timmel, Quentin Aldefer, Maverick Decker, and your other big man there, Paxton Bowers, starting five for both sides. Turnover by Hanover. They're fifth now in this contest. And now Hunter Keekafer takes it back. Keekafer all alone at the rim. Up, fouled, will miss the free throw. But an opportunity for two points. Hunter Keekafer really had an opportunity to finish that one off if he would have went up a little bit stronger. But instead, two free throws upcoming now for the freshman off the bench. Foul will go against Maverick Decker, his first personal. Keith Kafer calmly up the line. Pink shoes rocking by the freshman. Looks pretty nice, but they're not helping the free throw percentage. Misses that first one. As Patrick Cooker, excuse me, Cameron Juneman, first action in now for the junior as he will check Tanner Bruno. Keith Kafer, seven points last night versus Valley Heights. He had five of those in the first half, but can't seem to find the mark from the line. He goes 0 for 2 on that attempt as Hanover goes empty on that possession. As we've seen in the first three games, every possession is so important when it comes to this time of year. We had a nail-biter with the game before us. Centralia held off Valley Heights 46-42 earlier in the day on the girls' side. Clifton Clyde top Hanover 57-55. Paxton Bowers, a three ball for the Panthers, gives them their first lead of the afternoon. 17 to 16 here with 627 left to play first quarter. TK for tries to get into the lane and does. Backing down his defender will be Aldefer. Now Garrett Martin finds an Ann Bikeman. Bikeman gets the left corner up top rotation. Braylon Mine right wing. Going to reset it, guarded tightly by Maverick Becker. Trying to get a little handoff there to Juneman. Mine trying to work his way inside. Dumps it off for Garrett Martin, but Martin just quits moving. A turnover, handover again, and Centralia out and running. Quentin Aldifer all the way to the rim, shot up, no good. Gets his own defense, re- offensive rebound, and kicks it out now. Packs and Bowers, top the key. Handover. Rushing back in defense, getting into the middle of the lane. Will be all the for again. Pull up shot, no good. Defensive rebound. Who's it off of? Dane with Centralia. Garrett Martin can of force that defensive rebound to come down in the way of his liking, and it'll stay with the Panthers. Brigham Brunin now in the 400 key caper. 2 3 defense on the inbounder. Screen pass up top. Rethinking will end up with it. Little runner in the lane, up, no good, but offensive rebound fought for, and it's going to go over Hanover's way. Centralia clashes the board harder than I think I've seen anyone here at this tournament do it so far, and they have the height to do it, too, as well. Duke Timmel, 6'3", Reese Tanking, 6'3", Paxton Bowers, 6'0", Tyler Jones, 6'0", off the bench if they want, Brett Heideman, 6'3", Henry Heideman, 6'2", 
some hype for this Centralia Panthers team and talking to head coach Nick Evans throughout the year during our Coach's Corner interview every Tuesday at 520. He said this team just needs to learn how to play with each other. Here's a turnover run out now for Aldefer. Aldefer smartly kicks it back now to Becker as the Panthers will reset. Tanking thanks on a three, now gets to the free throw line. Shot, no good. Offensive rebound, no defensive rebound. Taken by Braylon Mine. Hanover now with seven turnovers in this first half. They had eight total in their win versus Valley Heights, and Corey Jensen wants to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. 17-16 our score. Hanover trailing by one. You don't ask that much from your propane provider. Just the basics. Competitive pricing, quick delivery, reliable service. And if there's an emergency, the assurance that you won't be left out in the cold. You get all of that from Wanklin Oil. If you're not getting what you want from your current propane dealer, call Wanklin Oil at 1-800-794-2019. Jared, Dennis, or Zach will make the transition easy. It's not a hassle. Wanklin Oil is covering more of Northeast Kansas and can get to you right away. Wanklin Oil, 1-800-794-2019. We've had the energy since 1926. Hanover held a two-point advantage at the end of one quarter, but Centralia has come back here in the second. Really used defense has held the Hanover scoreless so far for the first about three minutes of this quarter. Meanwhile, Paxton Bowers drained a three ball for Centralia, giving them now the one-point lead, 17-16. to Brigham Bruna has it left side. We'll set it up now for the white and blue of Hanover. Here at Martin at the free throw line, handoff Cameron Juniman. Juniman trying to get downhill, does get to that left hand, but kicks it out, stopped nicely by tanking. Braylon Mine at the right high post. Now Garrett Martin right block, looking for someone, kicks it out top back, out top Bikeman. Bikeman at that headband, comes gets the screen for Martin. Will not use the screen, goes left instead of right. Now Bruna tries to get into the lane, that's Brigham. Pops it back out as there's not a whole lot of rhythm here for Hanover offensively so far in this first half. Bikeman trying to work his way inside. He's going to step back for a three. That's going to go doinking off the side of the rim. No good on his first shot of the night for Brant Bikeman. Inside, nice pass up and down for Clinton Aldifer. He can't get the first one to go, but second opportunity for Duke Pimple will go down for the Panther as the 6'3 junior continues to work inside against Hanover. Tanner Bruna in. Hunter TK for in. Brent Bikeman and Cameron Juniman out. Braylon Mine had an explosive first quarter, 11 points for the sophomore, but he has been quiet here the first four minutes of the second. Drew Timmel at the line for two free throws. First one is up, and, or excuse me, it was one free throw. It is missed. Offensive rebound pulled down there by Centralia. Hanover finally comes out of there with it. Centralia one for four from the stripe here early on, 25%. Tanner Bruna three ball, that's short. Defensive rebound pulled down Panthers, and Hanover goes one and done. Three Reese tanking up, no good. T.K. pulls down the board. Mine will look to push left side. Tanking pokes it away from Mine, and Tanking goes on the floor, dives on it. Tanner Bruna ends up with it. Hunter T.K. for three. No good. Offensive rebound caught around. Ends up in the hand of Garrett Martin. Up and down there for Martin. Right place, right time for the junior as he gets that one to fall. One point advantage, Centralia. A foul will be called inside 20. That's going to go against Brigham Bruna, his first personal foul. Now teams third here tonight. Hanover, your two seed. Centralia, your three seed in this tournament. Hanover victorious in their first matchup of the weekend last night over Valley Heights. Meanwhile, Centralia the same over Donovan West last night too as well. Centralia spread their offense out against this closing defense of Hanover. Inside, Reese Tanky, nice little turnaround shot. No good. Garrett Martin pulls down the big defensive board. Reese taking five points for him in that first half. Nothing in the second. Blocked by Duke Timmel, but a foul will be called. Will that be on Timmel? It will be. So now the junior picks up two personal fouls on the shot and will send Hunter Keycaper to the line where he is 0 for 2, though, here early on in this one. Two free throws upcoming now for the freshman off the bench. Three dribbles right hand, spins it in that left, throws up the free throw. That one's pure. 
Substitution now for Centralia. 32, Brett Heidemann in for the Panthers. First action now for the junior off the bench. Second free throw. That one will be short, though, by Key Caper as he splits a pair. And over back defensively. Quickly the other way does the Centralia team go, and they do it with passes, too, as well. A very well-oiled machine inside. Speaking about a well-oiled machine, nice runner by Bowers. Bowers misses the first one. Tanking comes out of nowhere for a second opportunity, and finally Martin pulls down the board. Centralia has had everything at the rim here in this first half. They've been crashing offensive rebounds, getting them second opportunities, but just not being able to finish. And Hanover still holds close, tied here at 19. An athletic save by Bowers after the miss by Braylon Mine, his first shot here in this quarter after the 11-point first quarter. And a foul will be called. Or no, it's not a foul. It will just stay with Centralia Ball underneath their own basket. Tanking will be your trigger man. Gives it near side into the hands of Heidemann. Heidemann up top now, Aldifer. Aldifer cross court, left side, finds up in the hands of Bowers. Bowers left corner and a foul in that corner. Tanner Bruna commits the personal foul. His first personal in this one. Third team, fourth team now for Hanover. So next foul will send some tray to the line for free throws for the rest of this quarter. 155 remaining. We're going to go in the backcourt now as Maverick Becker will bring it across the timeline. Hanover extending this defense out, knotted up at 19. Aggressive style, both teams play, and a fast-paced style too as well. Hanover even more, averaging 32, or 30, 62 points per game. Bruna gets tackled out by the front line. Tanner Bruna ends up with it in a nice little scooping shot there by the sophomore. A runner through the lane gives Hanover the two-point advantage. Physical play here between these two teams. And then a touch foul out front on Brigham Bruna. He can't believe it as he got tackled just as soon as he crossed that half-court line. Little hand touch foul, his second personal. Fifth there for Hanover, as we just mentioned. So now two free throws upcoming for Paxton Bowers. Bowers with three points in that first quarter. Has a triple to his name. Misses this first free throw. Substitution now is Brent Beichman in for Bruna with those two fouls. So Brigham on the bench for the last 124. Second free throw now up. That one's no good by Bowers as Centrae cannot buy a free throw. One for six. Inside Hunter TK for on the other end. Good little runner there by the freshman. Gives this now a four-point advantage. Wildcats. Inside, Tanking gets into the lane, kicked around, finally picked up, though, by Heinemann. Heinemann puts it up from the left shot, wild shot, no good. Bruna pulls down the board. Quickly the other way, Mine brings it across the timeline. Mine will set it up, guarded tightly by Paxton Bowers. Right elbow, Garrett Martin, looking for a back cutter in Beichman. Garrett Martin will look to go to work. Tries the back cutter again, now gets it off the mine as we hit 45 seconds left to go before halftime. Mine stuck with it at high right post. Now gets it off to Garrett Martin, left side. A lot of hands coming in. No foul as everyone was reaching for that ball. So Trey comes out of it. Bowers up and down the court. Other end down. So Paxton Bowers, five points now in this quarter for the senior. As he has eight in the game and a foul out popped by Clinton Aldifer. The freshman will pick up his first personal. Because that will be the third team foul for Centralia. So no free throws yet for Hanover. 23 seconds left to go. Hanover with it in possession at their half of the court. They're working right to left as we see it. So right in front of the Centralia bench. Now, that court it goes to mine as he comes right to left across the timeline. Guarded tightly by Maverick Becker. 20, or 17 seconds as the clock kit ticks. Hanover will hold for the last shot. Centralia wanting a five seconds. Hunter Keycaper with it, left side. Trying to back down Duke Timmel with those four, three, two fouls. Inside, Tanner Bruna had Garrett Martin. Martin fumbles it with two seconds. Mine's got to put it up. He does at the buzzer, but it is no good. And Hanover still leads by two going into halftime, 32 to 31. 16 more minutes to see who gets to face off against Axel in the TVL Tournament Championship tomorrow afternoon. Then at halftime, Hanover leading 23 to 21. 
State purpose of visit. Well, it looks like the old tractor's gonna kick the bucket this year. Searching internet for new buckets. No, no, I want to check insurance rates. Sale on the- located. Right now, get 20% off new bucket with code It's Raining Buckets. Robots don't know you. We do. For more than 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has relied on relationships to get you the insurance coverage you need for your farm or ranch. Find a Farm Bureau agent at fbfs.com slash protect. It's your future. Let's protect it. Call on Farm Bureau Insurance Agent Bryce Leonard in Washington today. Everyone's wanting to reduce, reuse, and recycle. How about reducing the amount of money leaving your bank account every month? With income-based living and reduced cable bill costs for everyone, Waterville Housing Authority is your housing partner. Enjoy maintenance-free and comfortable living in one- or two-bedroom apartments. Check out their Facebook page or call 785-363-2239. That's 785-363-2239. Call Parthamer Electric at 268-0553. At Parthamer Electric, we specialize in residential and commercial electrical services and are dedicated to providing customer service that is second to none. Parthamer Electric won't leave the job until you're satisfied. Parthamer Electric is available at all hours and offers flexible services for indoor or outdoor jobs. You can visit us on the web at the Parthamer Electric Facebook site or give us a call at 268-0553. Parthamer Electric in Frankfurt. You want a bank that not only cares about you, but the businesses and families around. FNB Washington is that bank. Community-minded since 1883, FNB Washington truly has been there through it all. A mainstay in the Washington community. FNB cherishes the opportunity to give back, whether participating in hosting local events, providing a community room for public use, or cheering the Tigers on to victory. Your local and hometown bank is still FNB Washington, equal housing lender, FDIC. At halftime of this 2-3 matchup of the boys' contest, Hanover leading 23-21 in what has been a back-and-forth game. Hanover led 17-14 at the end of quarter number one, but that was a low-scoring second quarter. Seven points for Centralia, six points for Hanover. Looking at scoring in that first half, first for Centralia trailing here by two. They were led by Paxton Bowers with eight points. Six points for Duke Timmel, four of those inside, as he has really caused Hanover problems here in this contest. Five points for Reese Tanking and two points for Maverick Becker. Centralia, three turnovers in that first half. Abysmal, though, I think is the word from the free throw line. One for six, though. Cannot buy a bucket from that strike. As for Hanover, they were led by Braylon Mine with 11 points. He had all of those in the first quarter. Seven points for Tanner Bruna, two points for Garrett Martin, and three points for Hunter Kikafer off the bench. Hanover Wildcats committed seven turnovers, but they shot the free throw a little bit better. They were five for nine, still just a hair over 50%, though. Something to be wanting more out of his head coach Corey Jensen in that first half. But coming out of halftime, I'm sure we'll expect to see the same physical play too as well as it has been an up and down, kind of sloppy second quarter there, but a very good and a very tight contest just like the first couple ones have been so far here this afternoon. We're going to take one more time out. We will wrap up our coverage here from Onega here after this contest. So we'll wrap up or take a look back at how this day has worked out, all the fun and excitement we've had, close games with good teams. TVL basketball, and another good 16 minutes upcoming for you here on KNDY and, of course, on Blue Valley TV, too, as well. At halftime, Hanover leading 23-21. A word now from our sponsors. Unload your unwanted or unused items and benefit local residents with disabilities through the Twin Valley Thrift Shops. Have some good used things taking up space? Drop those off anytime at the warehouse in Waterville or twice but nice in Beatty. For larger lots of garage sale leftovers, furniture, and the like, call to arrange pickup. Every donation sold benefits Twin Valley Services and their local residents. Learn more online at TwinValleyFriends.com or stop by the warehouse in Waterville, plus used furniture and appliances for twice but nice in Beatty. You made your house a home. With a homeowner's insurance policy from Blue Valley Insurance, we can relax knowing that things you treasure are protected. I'm Dave Savage. And as an independent insurance agent, we sell for a number of different companies to give you the best price. 
With our flexible options, savings, and expert service, you'll know that your home is getting the best protection possible. We're Blue Valley Insurance of Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. This is Thad Argenbright with Performance Ag in Waterville, your pioneer dealer. Our vision at Performance Ag is to deliver to you the very best in seed genetics from Pioneer, along with the best in service, which includes on-site seed treatment, direct delivery, and tender use. Call me, Thad Argenbright, at 785-313-3064 and find out why. With Pioneer from Performance Ag, you get more than a bag of seed. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. Max Blasky back with you here in Onega, game number four of our broadcast, fourth and final one so far here tonight, and one has been an exciting TVL tournament, breaking down the brackets for you. If you haven't caught up, girls' bracket is set. Clifton Clyde, the top seed, will face off three-seeded Centralia tomorrow at 6 o'clock. That means five-seeded Hanover Lady Wildcats will face off against two-seeded Valley Heights Mustangs. As Valley Heights fell to Centralia 46 to 42, and Hanover fell to Clifton Clyde 57 to 55. And what was an exciting girls' game in both of those matchups? It started off with two 20-point games in the Clifton Clyde Hanover game. Sevy Words had 21, Anna Juneman 29 points in that first game, but it wasn't enough as the Hanover girls fall. In our second game. Of the day, up came a boys' contest between top-seeded Clifton Clyde and four-seeded Axel. Axel got revenge on a loss from January 5th as they topped Clifton Clyde 50-48 to on a last-second three from Eli Brockstrom, and he finished with 15 points along with 15 from Brandon Smelsley and 10 points from Wyatt Detweiler getting the start for the Eagles tonight. And in our third game moments ago, Centralia snuck past Valley Heights 46-42, Centralia was led by Kara Gibbs and Owen Dieters with 13 points apiece as they move on to the championship round. Here in front of us, last boys contest between Hanover and Centralia. Hanover leads 23-21 before second half action. We'll take one more time out and bring you back the last 16 minutes. Stocked with the freshest produce and always fresh meat counter, J&R Market in Frankfurt is your full-service grocery. Start saving today with weekly specials. The J&R Market app makes shopping a breeze, so you're in and out and on your way. Open seven days a week for your convenience, Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. until 7 p.m., Saturday, 96, Sunday, 95. Freshest produce, best selection, greatest value, J&R Market in Frankfurt. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. To keep your vehicle running good and looking good, all you need is MR Auto Parts in Frankfurt. Motor oil, air filters, spark plugs, batteries, brakes, and more. MR also has what you need for the outside of the vehicle wheel cleaners, glass cleaners, washes, and waxes. That's MR Auto Parts, your CarQuest Auto Parts dealer in Frankfurt. At Kramer Oil, safety always comes first. We're here to keep your home and shop warm with reliable propane delivery which is why with your first fill-up, we perform a complimentary leak check. Your safety is our top priority, so you can rest easy knowing we've got you covered. And we're not just about safety, we're about convenience too. Need propane when you want it at a fair price? Call or text us today at 785-562-2466. We're here to serve you. Sixteen minutes to go to see who gets a chance to play Axel in the TVL Boys Tournament Championship game tomorrow at 7.30. It was a back and forth fourth first half as Hanover holds on to a slight two-point lead. But expect tough competition and a good play here, of course, coming up in the second half. 
On their second year head coach, Nick Evans, the Centralia Panthers trailed 17 to 14 at the end of one quarter, made a comeback almost of it there in the second half, but still trailed by two. Under head coach Corey Jensen, these Hanover boys are looking to get back to the state to the tournament championship game. Hanover in a start for the second half. Our second half off for Hanover with a nice little runner inside. Two point bucket is good. And now a turnover Centralia to come out of halftime. Didn't say that very often in the first half as Centralia only committed four turnovers as a team, but already their first one here in the second half. Hanover, if they are able to win this game, will go into the championship game buying for their eighth one in school history, their last one, or their ninth one, excuse me, in school history. Their last one came back in 2021. As for Centralia, they won it the year after Hanover did, 2022. Near steel top side, Hanover will take it inside Garrett Martin, and the Wildcats just send it right back over to Centralia. Braylon Mine, the story of that first half, had himself 11 points in that first quarter, got to the line five times, hit four of those, a triple, and two other buckets, but since then, only one shot, as he has just been quiet, not searching for his shot like he was there in the first half. Of course, both of these teams very good defensively. Hanover and Centralia, both of them only allow about 40 points per game, just a hair over. There's a three blocked in the corner. Who got that one up? Paxton Bowers shot it, and I believe getting out there was Tanner Bruno with the big block. Or no, it's Braylon Mine, excuse me. So Mine making up for it on the defensive end. After getting his three block, Paxton Bowers then commits the personal foul. So a minute 30 into this third quarter, Centralia already picks up their first team foul. Second one now for Bowers in the game. Garrett Martin, top side, gives it off Tanner Bruna. Bruna looking for a man, left side. Brent Beichman looking to get inside. Spinning at the left elbow. Bowers goes diving for it, and it will stay with Hanover, though. Scary playing out at half court as Tanner Bruna was bending down to reach that one. Reese tanking with diving for the ball. Kind of took out Bruna's knees, but everyone's okay. We're back up to it now, back and going. Beichman will go retreat this one in the backcourt, bring it across the timeline for the Wildcats. Right side, high post, he comes Garrett Martin. We're going to run that little rub play we like so much. Garrett Martin, high post, hands off now to Bikeman who got it back. We're trying to post up. Braylon Mine, right elbow. Has to kick it out to Anna Bruna now, top side. He'll dribble it out as we go five out, one in. Martin, left elbow. Now into Bikeman. Bikeman thought about a three straight on. Gets into the lane looking for some help. Has a man underneath, but at the back to the basket. Has to kick it out to Brigham Bruna. Hanover taking a lot of time here of quick-moving first half is what it was between these two teams. Inside, Garrett Martin wide open underneath the bucket. Puts it up for his second bucket here tonight. Good pass by Tanner Bruna. Quickly the other way, Paxson Bowers out of control. But offensive rebounds and Trey, a second option, third option is finally fouled. As Hanover cannot keep Centralia off the board in this one. Duke Timmel got himself two opportunities on it. Reese Tanking got himself a shot at it, too. But Centralia couldn't come up with a point. They will try an opportunity now from the free throw line. Bringing Bruna, the senior guard for the Wildcats, picks up his third personal foul. As Timmel calmly knocks down his first free throw. Substitution now, Hunter T.K. for in for Bruna. Second free throw now upcoming for Timmel. 6'3", Junior had himself six points in that first half. Second free throw is pure, and that was a major improvement from the first half. Centralia shot one of six from the free throw line in that first half. So far here, 2 four, two on those lone two shots. Eric Martin, right block, looking for an opportunity for a shot, forces it up, misses that one. Centralia comes with it the other way. Bowers left side, now into the hands of Maverick Becker. Around the horn it goes, back to the hands of Becker, left wing. Cross court whip pass into the hands of Quinn Aldifer. Aldifer misses that one, but a foul will be called on Hanover. Crashing down for the defensive board was Brent Bikeman. The junior picks up now his first personal foul. Second one up now for Hanover in this quarter. 
Tinking will be the trigger man underneath his back at, basket. He goes half court to Becker. Down the horn back to Tanking for three. That one's going to be long, no good. Braylon Mine pulls down the air ball. Mine looking to break down this defense. Gets to the left side post. Now backing down his defender. Taller man shoots over him and it drops over the head of Maverick Becker. Braylon Mine just backed him down to his spot about six feet away from the basket and put that one in the hole. Top side, Centralia will now reset it. Now all of a sudden trailing by six, 29-23. Inside, Becker gets it, but blocks. Tips. Oh, it's going to be Hanover ball. Tanner Bruna blocked that one out of bounds. Second judge comes up from the sideline, says, hey, wait a minute, let's rethink about this one. Let's see what the official call is. We're going to give Tanner Bruna a block anyway, and it will say Centralia ball. So that is the right call. And it was fans not too terribly happy with that one, but it is the right call. Max Blasky with you from our negative fourth and final game here today. As always, thank you for tuning in to this week from the TVL tournament. We do appreciate it. It is always a hectic week, especially when reschedules happen like they did this year, but we made our way through it. Bruna blocks that one out of bounds again as Becker can't get past the sophomore Tanner Bruna. Back to black defensive stops now for the Wildcats. Head coach Nick Evans really wanting a foul, not going to get it as Martin knocks that one out of bounds. Still chatting with the referee over here near side. His second year head coach for the Panthers, Nick Evans. Left side, three ball on the way on the little scissor screen. That one falls down and a timeout taken by Nick Evans. Three ball by Reese taking finally gets something to drop for the Panthers as they pull now within three. 29-26, four minutes left to play in this third quarter. We'll be back after this message. When it comes to your health, you deserve the best. At Hanover Hospital, they are more than just a health care facility. They are your friends and neighbors right here in your community. Their commitment to high-quality, family-friendly care means when you're at Hanover Hospital, you're with family. They offer state-of-the-art health care services with certified professionals on staff 24-7, 365 days a year. Hanover Hospital, your community, your health. Visit them today for close-to-home quality health care. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high-quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Hunter Keycaver trapped in that dead man's corner, somehow gets away from it. Now Centralia is going to foul 94 feet away from the basket. That's on Paxton Bowers. It is. That's going to be his third personal. If he looks towards the sideline in disgust, but hacking the way you were going to pick that one up. And we'll get another crack at it. It's a of full court man pressing. Braylon Mines going to get on the other side of Quentin Oliver. Gets it across the timeline. Now attacks left side of the left lane. Off of Oliver, and it will stay with the Wildcats. Back and forth game, 23-21 to with a halftime score. Hanover led. Now they're at 29-26 with 3.51. This has been a defensive battle for both sides. Centralia has had many opportunities at some second-chance points with some offensive rebounding. Hanover here on the offensive end, though, finds Garrett Martin wide open after a scrum for the ball. He just likes to hang around the bottom of the basket and often finds himself with that rock. At the other end, though, Reese Tanking puts up a two, answers back Martin's deuce. Still a three-point contest. Frank Mikeman's going to get into the lane. Nice little floater up. No good defensive board pulled down there by Timmel. Mikeman's first shot of the night. I don't know if it was a shot or if it was more of a pass to or kind of like an alley-oop to Martin. It's not going to count nonetheless. And then on the other end, Mikeman picks up the personal foul at half court. The junior trying to get out there and make something happen. Get some, get some words of encouragement from his head coach, Corey Jensen. 
Still 2-3 defense that likes to extend outside, well outside the three-point line, does this Hanover squad. Hunter T. Kafer hounding. Reese tanking left side. Tanking's going to fire that one from the free throw line inside. Duke Timmel, another offensive board, gives the Centralia Panthers another offensive possession. Now a turnover. Centralia as Braylon Mine comes up with the steal. Hunter T. Kafer will bring it across the timeline. Gets it to Tanner Bruner, right wing. Wing now will give a little give and go between him and Mine. Tanner Bruner inside. He tips that one away, throws it away, trying to find Martin. Up the, up the court, Reese thinking for two. Takes it 94 feet. Senior now with seven points in this quarter as Centralia cuts this deficit down to one. 2.20 left to play in a quick moving contest here for the right to go to the TV Up Tournament Championship. Beichman can't hit that one from three feet away. Hanover empty on their next possession. Down the horn it goes, ends up in the hand of Clinton Aldifer for the Centralia Panthers. Left corner, Aldifer, now into the hands of Bowers, takes on three, gets inside, tries to draw a foul, and he will on Garrett Martin. That's going to be the second personal now on the junior, but more importantly, free throws upcoming for Paxton Bowers. That will be second personal foul on Garrett Martin. Fourth personal now for Hanover as Bowers can't make the first free throw. Substitution now, Cameron Juneman in for Tanner Bruna. Bowers at the line where he is one for five from the strike here tonight. Now he's going to be two, four, six, just as we talk about it. Splits the pair. He will take a seat on the bench and will come Tyler Jones. Centralia will full court man press like they have been all game. Bikeman having trouble getting it in, finally does to mine. Mine takes it, now throws it across court to Hunter TK for TK for with numbers, poked out from behind by Maverick Becker, a turnover Wildcats. Centralia with it. Right side, Jones goes inside and going tumbling will be Hunter Keekafer. One of those that Jones pump tanked and Keekafer just came flying in from the three-point line. Could hear assistant coach for the Hanover Wildcats there, Chris Mine, to see how Hunter stay on the ground. Chris Mine with a fire underneath his squad last night, too, as well in that game versus... Valley Heights had to get on his boys a little bit, did the assistant coach, and it worked, and Hanover ended up victorious. First free throw there for Jones is a miss. Second one is going to be the same. Martin pulls down the board. He'll go out of bounds, but off of Centralia. So now 50% is Centralia in the second half shooting the free throw. Drinking over a press breaker. We're just going to lob it up to Hunter Keekafer. Somehow he, that's a foul on Hunter Keekafer. I'm sure head coach Corey Jensen is going to pull in, and there he goes. Tanner Bruna now in for Hunter Keekafer as the freshman just losing his head here in this second half. And that's already, didn't it, check it, the fifth team foul for Hanover in this quarter. So Centralia, even with their free throw woes, will shoot free throws the last 138. Those woes continue for Jones as he misses that free throw. Hunter Kike for third personal foul will get checked out and has some words of advice from his head coach. Second free throw, and now that's going to be hard off the rim, and Bruno pulls down the board. 0 for 4 the last trip down the court is Tyler Jones. Centralia has been leaving valuable points at the line in this one. Martin with it at the right elbow, looking for a cutter. Swings it off to Tanner Bruner, gets inside, finds a second cutter. Tanner Juneman, Cameron can't finish that one. Might have been partially blocked by the big man Duke Timmel inside too as well. Jones is going to drive baseline. Finds a wide open Maverick Becker. That one's halfway down and out and off of Hanover. Staying with Centralia. 
Hanover has been playing a very good basketball so far here tonight, but if Centralia can make their free throws and make some shots from the floor, the Panthers would probably have a 10-point lead right now. But instead, it is knotted up at 31 with 107 left to play here in the third. Becker swings it back to tanking, left corner three. That one's off, no good. Defensive rebound pulled down by Garrett Martin. Throws a few, not elbows, but kind of whips that pretty quickly. Personal foul will be called on Centralia. Let's see who they put that up. That will go against Duke Kimmel. Foul number three. Talking about those words of advice that Chris Mine gives to his team. Of course, it comes with experience, too. The all-league player from Hanover back in the 90s led his team to many multiple winning seasons. He's trying to do that now with his son leading this Hanover team. Got it up at 31, 44 seconds. Let's it go. Brandon Beichman loses it but gets it back. Finds a wide-open Garrett Martin underneath the basket. And somehow, Hanover gets two points out of that one. Head coach... For Centralia wants to take a timeout. We'll take it with him with 39 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Hanover leading by two, 33 to 31. Coolman Implement and Hardware is your Ag Koalas White Hesting Leaner and Gel Dealer with personalized care since 1935. See Coolman Implement and Hardware for farm equipment, electrical and plumbing supplies, parts, sales, and service. Your Ag Koalas White Hesting Leaner and Gel Dealer. It's Coolman Implement and Hardware in Lynn, Kansas. 71 degrees all the way. 73 degrees, please. When it comes to keeping your home warm this winter, what's your perfect degree of comfort? We'll help you find it with a new Rheem heating system that'll keep you warm, save on energy costs, and may qualify for utility rebates and tax credits. So enjoy a new degree of comfort this winter. 72 degrees and I'm in heaven. Get professional service and all brands of equipment. Call B&W Electric in Hanover, your local Rheem contractor at 785 337 20 98 today. Temperatures still frigid outside, but action just as hot as it was earlier today inside the Onega Gym here for the TVL tournament. 33-31, our score, Hanover leading the Centralia with an opportunity to either tie or take the lead here at quarter break. Left side, Paxton Bowers with it, gets it into the middle, shot up by Reese Tanking, no good. Defensive board pulled down Bikeman. Out and running is Garrett Martin, but heck of a defensive possession there by Maverick Becker after he missed the shot to chase down Martin. He was left wide open at the other end of the court, chased him down, pushed it out of bounds. Head coach Corey Jensen wants to take a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with him for the last 19 seconds of this third quarter. Duzine Enterprises has been laying floors all over our area since 1962. That's miles and miles of carpet, laminate, tile, hardwood, and vinyl. And they are so good at it that their schedule is filling up fast. So while good things come to those who wait, if you have a remodel or a new construction project in your near future, you should probably get on their schedule today. So call 785-325-2379. That's 785-325-2379. Duzine Enterprises in Washington. Washington. Why would you go anywhere else? Financing available. 19.9 seconds to be exact. Hanover will have it underneath their own basket. Tanner Bruna will be the trigger man. Flat four across the baseline. A little long pass into Braylon Mine. Left block gets it, spins around middle of the lane. Up and down for Braylon Mine as he has turned it back on here in the third quarter. Quickly the other way, Centralia, it'll stay with the Panthers as it was tipped out of bounds by Cameron Juneman. Paxton Bowers back into the game for Tyler Jones. Four-point advantage handover. It's been this margin the entire way. Of course, the semifinal action between two and three seats should be. Centralia with one more chance here before quarter break. Maverick Becker quickly up into Paxton Bowers. Paxton Bowers left wing, on about a three, now gets inside the paint, little floater up, and down by Bowers as time expires on the third quarter. Hanover still leads, so it is a two-point advantage, 35-33 to 33 at the end of three quarters. Where do you turn when the unexpected happens? You may wonder what's next. 
Who do I call? What should I do? We at Christy Anders and Anders Fifely Funeral Homes are here to assist by providing support and personal services while helping create a beautiful and unique tribute for your loved one. We're proud to offer affordable, personalized packages to fit any budget. You can find us online at apfunerals.com or visit us in Waterville at Christy Anders Funeral Home or in Riley at Anders Fifely Funeral Home. Earning and keeping your business is the top priority at Old E Tractor Repair and Lend. Their professionally trained technicians have a tremendous amount of experience with all types of farm equipment. They service all brands of tractors, combines, and forage equipment, especially John Deere. They work on diesel truck engines, clutches, transmissions, differentials, and brakes. Call Oldie Tractor Repair of Lynn, Kansas, serving area farmers for over 26 years. At the beginning of every crop year, you get only one chance to get it right. Start your season off with a seed you can trust. Plant DeKalb Astro. They have a full range of products that have proven themselves year after year. Parker Seed can provide the right seed for your environmental conditions. There's no room for error. Call Parker Seed to start your season off right. When you call Todd Parker, he'll put his knowledge and experience to work to help you make the right choices. Call today, 562-6687. That's 562-6687. 12 points in that quarter for Hanover and Centralia. Hanover still holds the two-point advantage, 35-33, as we have eight minutes left in this one. Reese taking from straightaway three, no good, but offensive rebound pulled down. Maverick Decker. Centralia holds on another offensive possession. Tanking inside, that one's down, and we're knotted up now at 35. The offensive rebound for Centralia in this game has been absolutely wild. Bikeman about throws it into the Centralia bucket as he got it to Tanner Bruna on the inbound pass. Now a whole collective sigh of relief by the Hanover side. Martin up top looking to get it to Juniman and does. Juniman loses, uses a screen for mine. Bikeman thought about a deep three left wing in front of Bowers. Smartly pulls it back down to Tanner Bruna. Tanner Bruna gets into the lane. Will turn around shot from the free throw line. That one falls in. Tanner Bruna now scored in every quarter 11 points for the sophomore as Hanover has had the touch the last two possessions deep inside as that ball has just found its way to the bottom of the bucket. Back to a two-point lead for Hanover. Inside, Glenn Aldifer will try and attack. That's a wild shot, no good. Defensive rebound pulled down Martin. Mine will look to run. Gets it off to Bikeman right wing. He's going to look cross court now gets it in to Martin in the corner. Martin, not a three-point shooter, will dribble in, gets all the way into the lane, looks to make a move, but stopped by Timmel. Oh, that's going to be stolen. Oh, almost out top by Tanking. The Tanking had good hands, got it away from Tanner Bruna. But Wildcats will keep possession of it. That's going to be a foul on Maverick Decker as he was holding Braylon Mine from being able to catch that ball. Personal foul now on Becker, his second game now for Hanover. Had three fouls, didn't play much of that third quarter. Now back here in the fourth. 6.06 left to play, 37-35 our score. Bruno will throw it out top to Tanner. Tanner will now reset it for the Wildcats with it on the right wing. Left time close, he goes to Martin, gives a little give and go. Bruna takes it back right side into the lane, wanted a push off, didn't get it, offensive rebound, Jared Martin, and a jump ball will be called and will stay with Hanover as Garrett Martin, the lone big man for Hanover, has had his, or not troubles, but had his battles so far here tonight with these big for Centralia. Bruna gets it knocked away. It'll stay with Washington, or with Centralia. Of course, both of these teams looking to get back to the TVL Tournament Championship. It was just three years ago that Hanover won it back in 2021, went on to win the state title that year. Centralia won it two years ago. That's the last year, and an one opportunity for Garrett Martin. The big man down low worked his magic, got the ball to stay on the rim long enough to drop down, and a big three-point play opportunity now for the Wildcats. Personal foul goes on Quentin Aldefer, the freshman for Centralia. Martin at the line. Free throw up and good. 
for the big man. His first free throw here tonight. Hanover's first in the second half is good, but it gives them a five-point advantage with 5.32 left to play. Right wing, Maverick Vecker will try and get inside, gets it off the pack, and Bowers. Bowers is net. We're going to call a foul on a Garrett Martin, I believe, as he says he can't do anything about it, and really he couldn't. There's a lot of ball. I think they called him with the body down low. Not in foul trouble yet, though, with three with 524 left to play. At the line is Paxton Bowers. He calmly knocks down his first free throw of this sequence. That's only his third make in seven attempts so far here tonight. Second free throw is now good for Bowers as he sinks the pair. Centralia, 5 for 10, 50% from the line in the second half. Brigham Bruno has it, right corner, thought about a three, but guarded tightly by Bowers, thinks better of it. We're going to go right block to Garrett Martin. Martin cross court past the mine. Now we've got Centralia in a runaround. Bikeman inside a little floater. That's going to be short for the junior. Brandon Bikeman scoreless so far here in this one. Can't buy a bucket. Centralia still trails, though, by three. Inside, Maverick Becker will get to his spot. Shot up, you no know, good. Defensive board pulled down by Braylon Mine. Mine has had himself an excellent game, too, as well. 11 points in the first quarter, four points in the third. We'll see if he can come up big here in the fourth and keep this lead in Hanover's favor. Up and down, Tanner Bruna, no good. Brigham Bruna in there with an offensive board. And head coach Corey Jensen applauding the senior for that one. Of course, Brigham, not the biggest cat out there on the floor, but not afraid to put his body on the line. Has already drawn a charge so far here tonight. Personal foul will go against Duke Timmel. That's his fourth personal foul. So he's going to have to come to the bench with 4.38 left to play, and we'll see how long head coach Nick Evans keeps him there. Bruna gets it in. Garrett Martin, right block. Martin looks to go to work. His pocket's going to be picked. Saving a run out is Braylon Mine as he forces a turnover, and Hanover has it back in their possession. Mine right block up, and a charge is the call. Braylon Mine just got a little bit too deep there. I don't know who it was that drew it. I think it was Clinton Alder for the freshman, but a good job to stay on him there by the freshman. So that's the third personal foul now for Natsville, or excuse me, Hanover in this one. Had an unwelcome visitor. My banner fell down on my head there for a second, so I had to control that one, but now we're back in action. 40 to 37, our score. Hanover still in the lead here. Late fourth quarter action inside. Maverick Becker will get an opportunity, but he's going to come up short with that shot. Quickly the other way, Tanner Bruna, right block, Garrett Martin. Martin trying to back him down. Martin just loses it. Time now, jump ball, and back over to Centralia it goes as Corey Jensen was looking to get the timeout. So Centralia ball now with 3.56 left to play. Head coach Corey Jensen still wanting an explanation on that jump ball and saying two men had possession of it. He's not quite sold on that one yet, but he's going to have to be. Needing his team to be strong, box out, he says, on this defensive possession. Just under four minutes left to go in this contest. Winner will face the four-seeded Axel Eagles in the TVL Tournament Championship tomorrow afternoon at 7.30. Inside, Maverick Becker finds his way down to the low post. Now it's going to be Henry Heideman. First action now in for the junior here in this fourth quarter. Inside, Maverick Becker snakes his way up and down for two. Maverick Becker puts it down. Only his second bucket here tonight. And head coach Nick Evans wants to take a timeout with 3.30 left. We'll take it with him and over clinging to a one-point advantage. See Andy Bruna at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover for a full line of your everyday hardware needs and all the building supplies you'll need to get the job done right. Just about anything you might need around the farmer home is found at Andy's. And always fast, friendly service when you need it. It just makes good sense to shop at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, Kansas, a out Wildcat Booster. That's Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover. 44-39, a tight one coming down to the end here in the last contest from Onega on a Friday night. They've been tight the entire way and nothing to be changed here. 
We've had good games so far and expect two great championship games tomorrow afternoon, either between Axel and Hanover or Axel and Centralia. Meanwhile, on the go side, it will be Clifton Clyde and Centralia for the 2024 league tournament. Of course, Centralia girls would be looking for their sixth, or excuse me, 15th regular season, or 15th tournament championship, their first since 2022. All the Clifton Clyde girls will be looking for their first in school history. League started back in 1996. Clifton Clyde never has won one. We're looking, we're looking for one tomorrow in the girls' line. Inside, Tanner Brenna finds Brigham Brenna for the nice layup. Brigham Brenna, his first points of this evening, come up big here in this fourth quarter for the senior who has his struggled so far today. Three ball on the other end, tanking. That hit three parts of the rim. Tanking gets his own offensive rebound. He's going to force one up and one for Reese Tanking. Heck of an athletic take there by the senior. Who's going to pick up the personal foul? It's going to go on Tanner Bruna, his second. And tanking at the line in order to, claw, to tie this one up at 42. First free throw so far tonight. That one's pure for Centralia. Good make there by the senior. 42 all. 323 left to play. I think we had a foul down low, a little chicken wing on I think Centralia. No, yes, it'll go against it'll go against Centralia. It'll go against Henry Heineman. A first personal foul, but more importantly, fourth team one by the Panthers. So next personal foul, Hanover will be shooting free throws. Braylon Mine one-on-one against Maverick Becker. Gets it across the timeline. Becker doing a good job staying with Mine. And a timeout by head coach Corey Jensen to avoid the five-second penalty. We'll take it with Corey as we wind down to the finish line of this one. Not it up at 42 with two minutes left to play. Since 1976, Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions has been your farm and home marketing team. Let the experienced family team of Tom and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you when buying or selling a home or farmland. Delivering timely, honest, and professional guidance, visit olmsteadrealestate.com to view current listings and auctions. Your farm and home marketing team is Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions. So three hundred. That's fire five two. Titan Trailer Manufacturing of Waterville offers a full line of horse and livestock trailers, flatbed trailers, utility trailers, dump trailers, stock trailers, cargo trailers, and custom trailers. Are you sensing a theme here? Trailers. If you need it, they have it. Not only do they have it, Titan Trailers are a higher standard of quality manufactured in Waterville. You're pulling the best with a Titan Trailer. Log on to titantrailer.com and find a dealer near you and see for yourself. Hanover led 17-14 at the end of one quarter, held on to a two-point advantage at half. It was two points still at the end of three quarters, and now we're knotted up at 42. Tanner Bruna will attack left side, gets to that left block, looks for a spinning shot up, no good. Hanover empty on this possession. A good shot there, just missed it, and now a foul about 70 feet away from the bucket. Picking that one up will be Brigham Bruna, the fourth personal now on the senior who just had a bucket moments ago, a big one for Hanover to put them up, and now a foul will cause action to stop. Two minutes left to go. Paxton Bowers brings it across the timeline. Right side into the hands of Maverick Becker. Becker gets it to tanking, tanking for three, halfway down and out. Boy, Hanover saved their skin on that one. Quickly the other way, Hunter T. Kafer now will push it. Left baseline, Brigham Bruna will try and drive. Fadeaway shot, no good. Garrett Martin, offensive rebound for the junior. Big points here for Garrett Martin in the fourth quarter as he always finds himself around the basket or at least has the last couple days. Two-point advantage now for Hanover. Head coach Nick Evans tells his boys to calm down, get a good shot. Left baseline, Henry Heideman. Out top, now into the hands of Aldifer. Up top, Jackson Bowers, top of the circle. Against this defense for Hanover. That has been stout all day. Inside, Bowers takes it. Second pass blocked by Bruna, but a foul will be called on Tanner Bruna. That's going to be his third personal foul. It was a clean block if he hadn't just 
whacked his arm. A dead giveaway for the referee will send now Henry Heideman to the line. The junior has not been at the action in the first three quarters, but here we are now in the fourth at the free throw line, trailing my two with 112 left to play. First free throw is up and no good by Heideman. Centralia's free throw woes continue so far here tonight in the second half. They are a dreadful 6 for 12, 50% in what is a two-point game. Those are big points. Thanks that one in, does Heideman. So at the end of the day, I guess it goes in if you're a Centralia fan. Heideman to the bench, back in now. Big Duke Timmel with those four fouls. Eight points now for Timmel, but he has caused more havoc than just that. Braylon Mines going to look to get it across the timeline against Maverick Becker, and he does. Mines trying to go far right baseline, gets into the right block, trying to find his shot. Fade away shot from that spot, no good. Offensive rebound, Garrett Martin up and down for Garrett Martin. What a play for the junior. Falling away, throws that off the left side of the glass. Gives him tr- or Hanover back a three-point advantage. Rethinking inside, going away by Hunter Keycaper. He better be careful, though, because if he gets a technical, that's two free throws. Two, three, picks up that personal foul. Keycaper now fourth personal here in this one. What an offensive rebound by Garrett Martin, though, on that other end of the court. Braylon Mine was dead to rights at the right block, kind of faded away, shot it. Martin somehow reached up with his length, plucked it out of midair, and put it down. Reese Tanking, who has had himself a big fourth quarter, six points now for the senior, 18 for the game, sinks the first free throw. Second free throw now upcoming for Tanking. That one's here as well, and head coach Nick Evans wants to take a timeout. Full timeout. We'll take it with him with 45.4 left to go. Hanover cleaning to a one-point lead. Ag Buildings provides safe storage and working space for farm shops and machinery. Inline Construction offers wood or steel frame ag buildings complete and finished to your specifications. Call today for a quote and let them get started. For ag buildings, demolition, concrete, and construction work, count on Inline Construction. Find them and see their recent projects on their Facebook page. For the best of care close to home, visit the Washington County Hospital and Family Medicine of Washington County. Their team of professionals work together to provide every member of your family in every stage of life with medical care. From routine checkups to diagnostic services, visiting outpatient specialists, obstetrics, major and minor surgical procedures, and an emergency room that is always staffed by physicians, you'll find the best of care right here in Washington County. Call 785-325-2211 for your appointment today down to the wire between the two-seeded Hanover Wildcats and the three-seeded Centralia Panthers these teams will meet back up on December or excuse me January 26th and we will actually have that broadcast on KNY FM 95.5 next Friday but here a chance to go to the TVL tournament championship Hanover gets it in the mine. Mine will be guarded by Beckert as he has the last three times up and down the court. Beckert trying to cause a turnover. Won't get a foul called by mine. Hunter Keycaper will attack down the middle of the lane and throws it away right into the hands of Reese Tanking. But Reese Tanking loses it out of bounds, and it will go back to Hanover. Boy, a scary few seconds there for both squads. Brant Bikeman comes into the game for Hunter Keycaper, and I believe head coach Corey Jensen wants to take a timeout. He will take it with 30.3 seconds left to go. We'll take it with him. Hanover clinging to a one-point lead and the ball and a right to go to the TVL Tournament Championship tomorrow afternoon. Ricky's Cafe in Hanover ain't just good. It's home. From their daily specials to a full menu. Choose your favorite served fresh, hot, and fast. Your family when you stop at Ricky's Cafe and you're welcome anytime. Enjoy the delicious menu choices. And, of course, when you're hosting an event, bring Ricky's Catering along with a variety of options available, always at affordable prices. Call for your next engagement and count on Ricky's Cafe at Hanover. 
Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family-owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company, since 1947. Thirty seconds left to go. One point advantage, Hanover with the ball and the lead. Brigham Bruno will be trigger man. Gets it off to Braylon Mine, left wing. Guarded tightly by Maverick Becker. Twenty-five seconds as clock continues to kick. Becker about forced that turnover out top, but it'll stay with Hanover. Brigham Bruno will be your trigger man, gets it off the trailer line in the backcourt. That brings it across the timeline, across the big orange O here in Onega. Maverick fouling Braylon Mine out top as he was reaching across. Picking up his third personal foul will be Maverick Becker, and I believe that's the fifth now for Centralia. It is, and it will send Braylon Mine to the line. 15 points in this contest for Mine, 11 in the first half. Five free throws, four makes. First free throw since that first quarter. Conley knocks it down. A big bucket there by the sophomore. Only the second free throw shot by Hanover in this quarter, but it is a make. Mine second free throw. That one's pure as well. Three-point advantage, Wildcats. Centralia brings it across the timeline. In the hands of Paxton Bowers and head coach Nick Evans wants to take a timeout to draw up a play. We're going to leave it here, though, for the last 13.5 seconds as we don't want to miss anything. Hanover led 17-14 at the end of one quarter. It was 23-21 Wildcats at halftime, 35-33. Hanover still led the way at the end of three. Now 48 to 45 with 13.5 seconds left to go. We've already seen one beast buzzer beater early on today when Axel Eli Brosterman hit a fadeaway three to knock off top seed at Clifton Clyde, 50 to 48. Do we have another one here in the Centralia Panthers in our last game of the evening? That is to be determined as head coach Nick Evans draws his team up a play. They will have the ball on their side of the court in front of their own bench, in front of their own fans here, so it'll be quiet for this next 3.5, 13.5, excuse me. 13.5 seconds left to play in this one. Hanover up by three, 48-45 on the defensive end. Trigger man for Centralia will be Clinton Alder for the freshman. No points so far here tonight. In the backcourt is Maverick Becker. Big score so far here tonight has been Reese tanking with 19 points. Aldefer gets it into Paxton Bowers. Three-pointer by Bowers. That one's going to be long off the back. No good. A quick shot there. Wasn't expecting it. But Bowers just popped to the three-point line. No one guarded him for Hanover. Head coach Corey Jensen wants to take a timeout to talk this one over to make sure it's a full timeout. So this one we will take with them. Hanover with the possession and the lead. 48 points. 48 to 45 your score, 9.9 seconds left to go. Friendly, personalized service to meet your banking needs. That's the standard at First National Bank, Frankfurt. My Community Bank has responded to the changes needed to keep my money safe and secure. They've switched to cards with the latest technology, which is safer and more secure than before. My Community Bank provides safety and security while staying on top of the latest banking trends. Let First National Bank's brand of banking be responsive to your needs. First National Bank, Frankfurt, proud to be your community bank. Member FDIC. Coming down to the wire as they all have so far today. Our biggest margin of victory, four points as Centralia top Valley Heights in the game before this. It was a two-point victory for the Clifton Clyde girls. It was a two-point victory for the Axel boys. Right now it is a three-point lead for Hanover. 9.9 seconds, ball in the hands of Brigham Bruna. They have to go full court now, press break. Over the ball will be Drew Timmel. 
Hanover easily gets it in. Back to Brigham Bruna. They're not fouling him. Bruna's falling away. And about six seconds went off the clock on that one. And if Hanover can hold on, Bruna just needs to make one free throw to put this one away and send Hanover into the TVL Tournament Championship tomorrow at 7.30. Bruna has not had the game. The senior expected two points all here in the fourth quarter. Fifth personal foul for Duke Timmel as he fouls out with 4.6 to go. Had himself a huge night. Bruna at the line. First free throw is up and good for the senior. Big free throw. Puts Hanover now up four. This one to ice the cake. Second free throw. That one will roll down two as well for the senior. Five for five from free throws in the second half was Hanover, and they are going to hold on for the victory. Final score, 50 to 45 as Hanover moves on to the TVL Tournament Championship here tomorrow on KNDY. We'll take our final time out of the night, bring you recaps of this one as well as program lookout for the rest of the week. Again, the Hanover boys defeat Centralia 52 45. Wait, Santa is done, my friends. After Santa's hard work comes the new Wi-Fi hungry connected gadgets. Make sure your router is capable and ready. Let Blue Valley help you kick off the new year on the right foot and upgrade your Wi-Fi experience. Get two months free worry-free Wi-Fi and free installation from Blue Valley Technologies. For more details, visit bluevalley.net slash promo. Begin your new year with a new career at Landall in Marysville. Currently accepting applications for experienced assemblers, welders, painters, and a net developer. You cannot beat the benefits Landall offers. Wages start at 16 up to twenty one twenty per hour with a $2 an hour shift differential for second and third shift. 4% attendance bonus, promotions, raises, all-inclusive medical plan, paid time off and paid holidays, weekly paychecks, and more. Apply online and learn more at Landall.com or call 785-562-5381 for more information. Landall Company is an equal opportunity employer. What is shining like that? Oh, it's just my teeth. Whoa, how'd you get them so white? It's easy. I go to Gray Family Dental. They've been serving Northeast Kansas for over 19 years and have locations in Marysville, Blue Rapids, and Frankfurt. With all that experience, they really know what they're doing. Really? They sound amazing. They sure are. Remember, if you want the whitest teeth in the business from a local employer who supports your schools and community, go to Gray Family Dental. Schedule your appointment by calling 562-5323 today. B&D Buildings of Axtell specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud frame buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. D&D Building, specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. B&D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B&D Buildings at 785-294-0147. It's the most wonderful time of the year. No, not that one. It's time for the Twin Valley League Basketball Tournament, a showcase of 24 of the best teams in the state all in one place. And along with the terrific play-by-play broadcasts you will get here on KNDY, check out the TVL Spotlight, the only podcast with coverage from Onega all week long. The TVL Spotlight on tvlspotlight.com, a service of Sunflower State Radio. Hanover victorious over Centralia for the second year in a row in TVL tournament semifinal action. It was a 43 to 40 win last year. This year, 50 to 45 is your final score here as the Hanover boys punch their ticket to the TVL tournament championship tomorrow versus Axel. We'll get into those brackets here in just a little bit. The first scoring from this contest, first for the three-seeded Centralia Panthers. They fall to six and three now on the season, their first loss since back on December 8th. They were led by Reese Taking with 19 points. He had five only in the first half, meaning 14 here 
in the second half. 13 points for Paxton Bowers, 8 points for Duke Timmel as he found out with 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 4 points for Maverick Becker, 1 point for Henry Heideman. Turnovers were clean for Centralia. They only had eight for the game, but they shot an abysmal 48% from the free throw line. And in a five-point loss, those free throws come up big for you. They shot 10 for 21 from the stride, one for six in the first half, nine for 15 in the second half. As for the Hanover boys, they will move now on to 9-0 and on the season as they remain perfect. They were led by Braylon Mine with 17 points. He had 11 in the first half as he really helped this Hanover offense get going. 15 points for Garrett, Ma- Garrett Martin, 11 points for Tanner Bruna, Four points for Brigham Bruna and three points for Hunter Kike for two off the bench. Hanover had a little bit more troubles with those turnovers as they committed, let me do the quick math here real quick, 12 turnovers in this contest, but they shot the free throw exceptionally well, especially in the second half. They were 5-for-5 five five from the stripe in that second half, 5-for-9 in the first half. That makes them 10-for-14 on the game. 71% for the Hanover boys. So that'll mean in the boys' bracket, the four-seated Haxel Eagles await the winner of this contest, and it ends up being the two-seated Hanover Wildcats. So that game will come up 7.30 tomorrow afternoon right here on Candy Y 95.5. The Axel boys will be looking for their third tournament championship in school history and looking to repeat after last year's victory. Meanwhile, Hanover will be looking for their ninth in school history, their first since 2001 in a year in which the boys went on to win state. That means on the third and fourth place game at 4 o'clock, the top-seeded Clifton Clyde Eagles and the three-seeded Centralia Panthers will face off. Now on the girls' side of the bracket, top-seeded Clifton Clyde defeated Hanover this afternoon, 57-55. to Meanwhile, three-seeded Centralia stopped the Valley Heights, 46-42. to that means it'll be top-seeded Clifton Clyde and three-seeded Centralia in the girls' championship tomorrow at 6 p.m. Centralia will be looking for their 15th tournament championship, their first since 2022, in which they swept the regular season and the league title. Clifton Clyde will be looking for their first tournament championship in school history as this league started back in 1996. In the third round game, five-seeded Hanover Wildcats versus two-seeded Valley Heights Mustangs at 4 o'clock. That means our broadcast will start right about 5.30 with free game for the girls' championship here from Onega. Again on a Friday night. After six-plus hours of basketball, this has been Max Blasky signing off for the last time here on a Friday. Everyone drive home safe. We appreciate you all tuning in, and we will see you back tomorrow for Championship Saturday. KNDY.